Hello everyone and this video is about how to change the control settings for Free Fire. Um, if your smart controls is not working, I will show here how to change the controls from smart controls to a different layout. And well, if, uh, if you're fine with smart controls, I will also show how to, well, uh, tinker with the smart control settings as well. So first of all, open the game and get the latest versions of Blue Text installed and then you open the game yes and after that you try to find its settings okay its control settings so well it's not saying here the layout right uh, yeah now it's it's showing its layout uh, I hope you guys got that because I did it too fast okay so you go over to the settings in here and then you go over to controls then you click on custom HUD so this is the place where you can see all of the well settings popped up and then we'll go over to the right side of blue stacks and you can see here there is a keyboard looking like icon when you hover your mouse over it it will say game controls click on that then make sure this is turned on and this keyboard is selected keyboard icon not the uh, gamepad one if you're using a uh, gamepad controller then you can go ahead with the gamepad controller but right now we are choosing the keyboard one opacity I will tell you more about the opacity later it's about the visibility of the uh, keys uh, key bindings and all so go over to the open advanced editor it's at the last click there so then this will pop up so now you can see it's on the smart okay so all of them are just um, at the right position and everything and well if all of it is working fine then fine you don't have to do anything and well I will show you how to tinker with it at the last part of the video so right now we will show how to change from smart to another one okay so let's say we don't want the smart and the smart is not working fine for you go over here select uh, click this box and go over to standard so click the standard so now you can see it's pretty much just like few buttons and it's pretty much standard so now you go ahead and click on save so now the standard controls is set for the free fire so now I think it should be working fine and well if it's not working fine then you can come over here and then well if the shift uh, if you're thinking that the shift is not working then try to move it away close it and then again click on here left click and then again press shift so it's like you're reassigning the same button to it maybe it helps okay all right so now let's say your the fire button is not working so you have to click cross in here then go over to the F1 then right click on the F1 this will pop up right click okay and then try to go over here and see your mouse with fire with mouse left so click on enable mode then click on cross oh wait not yet so here you can see place the icon over the fire but fire weapon control on the screen so this icon you left click on it and you drag okay left click drag and put it over here so you have reassigned the button as well so this would probably well fix some of the errors if there are some errors so these are most of the buttons set here and you can see all of them are pretty good and all and you don't have to worry about them like being not good you know it's it will be fine I think so and you can click on save so that's it so this is for the changing from the smart controls to standard controls so standard should also also be fine well for the smart controls it's that it, it is actually smart and it helps lots of uh, like controls and changing controls as well so now I will tell you about the uh, opacity now click on close once it's set to standard okay close now you can click on game controls and now you can click on opacity so as soon as I b take it up you will see some buttons pop up on the screen can you see them now yeah there, there, there you can see V Z Z F F Z H Z so now you can see all of them I will turn to into full screen so now you can see all of the well icons pop up and all so there you can see how you can I mean watch which button if you press then it will set what it will do what you know so that is it for that all right so we will go over to the advanced control editor again oh wait let me show you uh, I prefer to have this opacity in the middle so that you can see it but you can see also behind see through because it's an FPS FPS game or I don't know like battle royale right so we need to see every bit of the 
screen, <laughs> right? So it's fine, yep. Okay, so then we will go ahead again with the open advanced open advanced editor. Okay, let's go for smart controls. Okay, I'll show you how to tinker with some of the stuff here. Okay, well you can of course drag them and put them anywhere you want. And well now we messed it up, so well just let us discard the changes. <laughs> All right, so go ahead again to the controls. So now you click on the keyboards, open and advanced editor, and now we will go ahead with the smart controls. Let's click on save. All right. So this is the smart controls and well let's show how we can tinker with them well let's say wait why is the space here five button right oops i don't know maybe it's just smart you know it just understands everything even if there are two buttons here for one another <laughs> so um yeah we can tinker with it like just let's say you don't want the wast to be there you can click on it left click on it and then s assign any key you want okay so i'm right now assigning the up left right down you know so this is the set way of assigning them uh, let's say custom yeah custom uh, key, key binds so you just left click on them it will open up a box and then you set any key you want and then the fire key uh, the fire key is already set there so let's say you uh, lost the fire key somehow then as, as I have sh showed already you just find the F1 and I don't see any F1 in here so probably it might be dumb so this might be it yeah so then you go over here to enable fire mode and then click this icon left click on this icon and drag it and then again put it back here okay that should do it and put the space over here because it's you know smart controls so it should be fine actually don't worry so now we will show how to change that you know num1 is the free look actually so we will change the free look, free look to middle mouse button so you left click on it again and then press your middle mouse button there you go it's done so you can move it back to its original position that should be fine so now you know how to change some of the well uh, keybinds to your custom wished keybinds and yeah try to set the free look to middle mouse button it's faster and it's more um, let's say easier yeah so that should be it for the video and I hope it helped well if you have any more questions you can just ask in the comment section below so until next time